When you play Ronnie, because of the style that Ronnie plays, you always get chances. You know, Ronnie plays an open game, wants to get the balls in the pockets as quickly as possible. So James is going to get his chances today. If he takes them, then we could be in for a surprise. So uh, young James Cahill, good memories. We're talking about that World Championship victory. Thank you. That was the first uh, frame. Ronnie a big shock. Ronnie O'Sullivan breaking off left-handed, as he so often does, but has caught the blue on this occasion. He's left an immediate opportunity for James Cahill. Very capable player, James Cahill. Now he's in Blackpool, originally from Lytham. Had that terrific win against Ronnie O'Sullivan back in the 2019 World Championship. And he defeated Ronnie by 10 points to 8. And a good start from him, although he hasn't got the intended position on the black. Lucky to have the black like that. James Cahill, eight. I always think when you play the game's top players, you mustn't show them too much respect. You need to put them under pressure. I always think you need to attack them and just make it known to them that you're there to win the match and not just to try and play yourself in slowly. Yeah, I would agree. And particularly with someone like Ronnie, who's got so many strings to his bow, he knows he's got to play well. That is relieves a little bit of pressure off you. You know you've got to perform. Yes, it's the hardest thing ever to do, but you must try and enjoy the occasion. It's a privilege to be out there in front of the television cameras and a big capacity audience playing one of the game's greatest ever stars. Mm, sorry, he was up straight away there, wasn't happy. He thought the cue ball rolled off slightly. Left a chance for Ronnie. One. He's made 1,144 competitive century breaks, which is absolutely extraordinary. Three. Four. Quickly getting the pink into play. So he'll be uh, concentrating now on the, the pink. Ten. Straighter on this red would have been a little bit better. Ronnie Just took his eye off the pot there. He was concerned on the path of the cue ball. Yeah, as you say, John, he should have been a little bit better on this red than he was. Oh, that's a long way. Off for James Cahill, that won't do his confidence any good at all. But that was a good ch chance there for James Cahill, and as you can see, he has left this red for Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Seven. But uh, he had a hard week last week. Milton Keynes, European Open. And losing in the final as he did. Fifteen. Ronnie did have the chance there to cannon the red away from the black, but he's obviously quite comfortable. Knowing that the pink is in open play. And the red surrounding the pink spot area. Twenty-one. Already 23 points the lead. And he may be a little 22. disappointed not to go on and win the frame from here. I think there are enough open reds. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. <clears throat>
。等吃饭。Mm, not as played, but、uh, he'll settle for it. Didn't want the kiss on the, the red near the cushion. Three more reds, and that will be frame over. Forty-three. Just screwed that slightly, so it's not a formality. Bit to do after potting this pink here. Ronnie got to play the cannon. The position on the pink was fortunate. He had the angle to go into the reds.、So、the break、50. continues. Fifty-two points, the good. So just this green and one more red to win this opening frame in rapid time. Frame in progress, less than nine minutes. Fifty-three.、Mm, now will we be tempted with this red? You would think so. Just red needed. No, too thin. Ronnie O'Sullivan, fifty-three. So a slim chance, but James Cahill gets back to the table, fifty-five points behind. You could hear an audible groan from Ronnie, knew the moment that that red was heading towards、One. the pocket that he'd missed it. Got a lot of work to do here for James Cahill, black tied up. If he doesn't bring it into play soon, he'll need a snooker. What sort of angle does he have to work with? Not a lot. Well, this is the key shot. He was hoping to have an angle so he could pop this red and disturb the red that's just to the left of the black. More likely, if it, well, looking at it again, there's a chance here. He could cannon the second red and be on the black. Well, played it well. Good shot. Fabulous shot this from James Cahill. If the cannon didn't work out there, it could have been frame over. As it is, he's in perfect position here. Still, lots of work to do. That red awkwardly placed on the cushion. The blue up in bulk isn't going to be an easy task by any means, as you can see. It's fifteen. James Cahill has the chance to get back into this frame here. Sixteen. So, key shot coming up. Can drop in behind this red with top spin and a little right hand side applied to the cue ball. Twenty-three. Not perfect by any means. Switching hands. It's got to go in. Had to go in. James Cahill, twenty-three. Good effort, so close. And of course, Ronnie now just taps this red in, and that's the first frame. One. Not flawless. Of course, that's the other thing with Ronnie when you play. You don't have a lot of time to. Think about it, dear. The frames can flash by in a, well, what、Ten. appears、uh, in no time at all. Yeah, that's absolutely right, John. Some players just strangle you slowly, whereas Ronnie can sort of knock、Percy. you flat, and it can be quite intimidating playing a Ronnie O'Sullivan in good form. I'll try to bring、17. the blue into play. It doesn't matter. So to say, not flawless, but、uh, good enough to take the first frame. And good size for James Cahill. And looking with the red down the cushion. Anyway, it's Ronnie O'Sullivan takes the first frame, leads one nil. Rian made a very salient point there. I was commentating on the matches here last night, and I think myself and Darren Morgan were very surprised at how easily some of the balls went in down the cushion rails. But when you do play in professional events, a lot of players do make comments to the tournament director as regards how the table's playing, or if there are any potential problems with rolling off, etc. Well, that was a long shot. That、uh, was a long, long way out. So first chance to run it. One. 
Six. Seven. It's hard enough to play somebody like Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's so talented, so capable. But of course, he's so accustomed to playing matches time after time on the main match table in front of the television cameras and big audiences. Dear me. The stun run through sent the cue ball wide and to judge the kiss off the reds and still finish perfect on the black. Wonderful shot. Yeah, it's just 20. something that Ronnie does so well. When he goes into the pack of 21. reds. He almost knows exactly what he expects to see happen. And as all great mate break builders are capable of, they spot the important shots that are key to winning frames in a single visit. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Mm, just a little bit short of pace. He's still on this red. Thirty-six. Straight through to have a free run to the colour. So straight off the second red. Not perfect on the blue. Committed to the shot fully, focused on the clean ball strike, and that's exactly what that was. It was beautifully timed, and there was a lot of pressure on that blue. James K. Hill would have been coming to the table with a good opportunity had he not potted it. Yeah, he didn't finish perfect on the black. You would have thought so the way he nonchalantly knocked it in, as he did the blue. 51. And I always feel, Dominic, you know, he's not getting any younger. We should treasure these moments 58. of watching this man at the table. 59. It is a joy to watch. Yes, he's not only the game's greatest ever player, I think most people would agree with me there, he's also one of the most classiest players we've ever seen. One of the most fluent. And because of all 66. that, one of the most watchful 67. players we've ever seen as well. He's got everything. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Well, is that for real? Average shot time. Eleven seconds. Seventy-nine. It'll be a good century if he could make one here. These reds are not ideally situated. 83. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 83. Another double hasn't quite gone in for Ronnie O'Sullivan, but that superb break of 83 to go with his break of 53, 21, to extend his lead 53. over James Cahill to 2 0. Well, better break off shot that time. Well, at least he missed the blue. He's a very, very capable player, James Cahill, actually the cousin of Stephen Hendry. Had some great wins in his career. Well, nice little rub off the yellow. And a quite aggressive safety shot he played there. Can't see a, a pot on and can't really see an easy return to the balk end. No, I think you're right, John. The blue is blocking off that left-hand half of the table. Ronnie well, having to ponder this situation. And so don't we all? We all love snooker. Ronnie did. Well, 
while every now and again you're in such an awkward spot that you have to pot your way out of trouble. And he's followed it up with a terrific green to really in business again here in frame three, one year Sullivan. Two fantastic pots here. Not a lot James Five. Cahill can do about that. After it's re-spotted, will it still be available? We'll see. But it's not an easy table. Twelve. And it's not. So, pink and black now tied up. Thirteen. Yeah, and there's value in playing the blue, play the cannon into the pink here. No, he decided he didn't need to. And maybe that red just to the right of the pink is available. 18. But the pink's still tied up. 90. 24. 25. The pink will pot into the left centre, but not with those four reds just near it there. Go up for the blue. Got a good angle here, though. I think sometimes, you know, Dominic in these situations, he treats it as a challenge. How you know, and to play it like this, you got to have superb cue ball control. Yeah, you said the very thing I was thinking just a few moments ago that he does use certain patterns of reds as a challenge to try and develop them and work a break out. And it's not as straightforward as it sometimes is when Ronnie oh, O'Sullivan's amongst the balls. Forty-three. Another superb shot. He couldn't play for the blue there because he had to put a lot of side on to avoid the red near the side cushion. This red isn't 46. easy, but he can play for the pink now. 47. Well, <laughs> oh, just when he'd done all the hard work, 47. he's missed the pink. Would you believe it? He can't. <laughs> but he's been lucky. That pink could have gone anywhere, but he's now tied the black up. One. As you say, Johnny was very fortunate to tie both pink and black up there, and James, James Cahill tried to play a developing cannon that didn't work out. No, long way off. Or was he? James <laughs> Cahill won. Ronnie O'Sullivan, three. I wonder if James Cahill might consider a double here on this red to the right centre. Can hold for the black. Does it cut past the black? Wow, James Cahill thought that would go. It must have done. But nowhere near thin enough. So back to where we were. Ronnie's last visit, red and the colour needed. One. So this blue to go 55 points in front with just 51 remaining. Of 
green rather than the blue. Still snooker required. Your side keeping his foot. foot to the pedal. mind at all that he's left James Cahill this opportunity because as you say John that black and pink both tied up one James needs to somehow develop one or both of them as soon as he can he'll need an extra snooker you're 47 points behind well one snooker to tie well, we're trying to know this is a red go in had to had to frame conceded so, not much going right for James Kelly, it has to be said. Ronnie O'Sullivan, though, looking as good as ever. 3 0. But again, that cannon could have worked out more in his favour. This pink is quite tricky now. James Cahill, one. Yeah, those are tough, aren't they, John? They're never easy, particularly against Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, and when you're three nil down, of course, you think every mistake you make from now on. One. Could be your last. I should think Ronnie will be trying to get this black on its spot sooner rather than later. If he gets the black on the spot, then you can see Six. him winning frame and match at this visit. Seven. Immediately, he's on it. Fourteen. So leave himself an angle on the black. Could do what he like with it. Looks like he's left an angle maybe to play a little cannon. Yep, and it's gone wrong. I say gone wrong, he was looking for a nice Thanks. easy red. Well, is he on it? He was just on it. 31. My commentator's eye must be weakening slightly. Bet you thought he was on it, didn't you, Dominic? No, I was just glad you were narrating the scene, so to speak, until we had 36. a better camera angle. Thirty seven. Red certainly went into the side door, but Leo Sullivan now has these balls at his mercy. And I just wonder if James Cahill feels that he's played his last shot in this 44. year's bet fit to Welsh Open. 52 53 This blue, one more red and it's job done Managed to really deep, deeply into the cue ball there to avoid the cannon on the reds 59 Seen a century. 
Yet in this match, can Ronnie make one here? 66. Sixty-seven. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. Needs this to bounce a little. May have to take the cue ball in and out of bolts. Get good position on the red. Needs to avoid the centre pocket. Oh, that's not bad. 80. Sullivan, who is great, so 53, 83, 47, and that closing break of 90 books his place into round two, a comfortable winner by four frames to nil. Mm -hmm.